supplements are super helpful because they help you get what you need out of the food in almost any kind of food. It just gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of like what you want to eat and when, which I really appreciate. Um, sometimes when, when athletes attempt to manage their weight, they cut out whole food groups or they might cut out a food group that, that limits access to certain vitamins or, or minerals or, or just the nutrients that they need. When certain markers are low, um, you're kind of fighting City Hall to have good performance. So understanding supplementation, understanding when it's appropriate and what types of things are appropriate and for which populations is really important. Like for me, I it wasn't more of like as much like protein and like creatine as much as it was like vitamin supplements and just kind of like what I need to take and what's going to help me personally, but also like what I'm allowed to take as an NCAA athlete. There's education that our student athletes have to go through annually. Part of that education is we ask our student athletes if they are going to take a supplement to run it by us. So, you know, either Becca or there's also uh, uh, someone on the athletic training staff of mine, Jordan Knight, um, who's designated in this area and will, will kind of get a risk, risk assessment through the drug-free sport. The number one thing that we focus on with supplements is making sure that it's certified since the supplement industry is unregulated. And once we figured out that it's certified, we next ask, like, is this actually useful? Is there research to support it? Um, Becca has been incredibly helpful in speaking um, with our athletes that would like to um, maintain or pursue a plant-based diet and is able to help them navigate um, those supplements. That's very common on our team. And then also just to have the security of knowing um, they've vetted these before and they have avenues um, of making sure that these aren't banned substances. Um, so that's been great to have people who know exactly how we're training, know exactly what our goals are and what we're eating, and then be able to suggest supplements um, that are going to maximize that. Deficiencies there can really derail a great uh, training effort or series of training efforts or training plans. And so understanding um, and having intelligent dialogue with the sports performance people and the athletes about what supplements might be useful to them um, is really important. There's a time and a place for supplements, but we want to make sure that the research supports the use so people aren't wasting their money on unnecessary supplements.